U.S. military contractors may be allowed to go to Ukraine, this will be a serious problem for Russia. The U.S. administration is moving closer to lifting a de facto ban on the deployment of U.S. military contractors to Ukraine to help the Ukrainian military maintain and repair U.S.-provided weapons systems. CNN reported this, citing four officials with knowledge of the matter. The United States withdrew all of its instructors from Ukraine before Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022 and has decisively ruled out a military presence on Ukrainian territory since then. As a result, U.S. provided military equipment that has been heavily damaged in the fighting has to be taken out of the country to Poland, Romania or other NATO countries for repair, a process that takes a long time. CNN sources said that over the past few months, the Biden administration has been re-examining restrictions on contractors in Ukraine in light of the continued advance of Russian troops and the delay in military assistance. They stressed that the decision is currently being discussed and has not received final approval from the US president. But if it's approved, the Pentagon will be able to sign contracts for the deployment of American contractors in Ukraine to help the local engineers repair equipment for the first time since 2022. For example, CNN reports that F-16 fighter jets are expected to require regular repairs after Ukraine starts using them. One of the sources pointed out that American companies participating in the Pentagon's tenders will have to develop reliable mechanisms to reduce threats to their employees in Ukraine. Recall the United States has repeatedly rejected the possibility of sending its military to Ukraine. In particular, this was stated by President Joe Biden. Recently, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Charles Brown, rejected the possibility of sending military instructors to Ukraine in the near future. According to him, the United States can make such a decision only after the war between Ukraine and Russia is over. France launched a discussion about possible Western military presence in Ukraine and is believed to be gathering a group of countries that are willing to send their instructors there. North Las Vegas police said officers responded to the Craig Ranch Villa's apartment complex and found five people in two different apartments dead from apparent gunshot wounds. They identified the suspect as 47-year-old Eric Adams. Officers arriving at the apartment found two adult women, one in her early 40s and another said to be in her late 50s, suffering from apparent gunshot wounds. Both women were pronounced dead at the scene, police said. As of this report, neither woman had been publicly identified. Also inside the apartment, police found a 13-year-old girl suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. She was taken to University Medical Center's trauma center, where she was said to be in critical condition. Two women in their mid-twenties and a man in his early twenties were soon found dead from apparent gunshot wounds in a neighboring apartment police noted in an updated press release. The three additional victims are believed to have been shot by Adams, according to police. The North Las Vegas Police Department said the suspected shooter, Eric Adams, killed himself as he was confronted by officers in a neighborhood. Authorities had been searching for him since shootings in separate apartment units. As officers arrived in the area, they saw the suspect with a firearm running into the backyard of a nearby home. The department said officers followed him, but the suspect refused to drop his weapon and died by suicide. Police haven't disclosed a motive for the shootings. I'm going to go to the next one.